What's going on guys? You already know who it is. It is your boy, the Dryad Dude here. And well, today I wanted to talk about something that I discovered when it comes to aiming, flicking, and tracking. And that is your recorrection that you do when you're flicking or tracking. And I know a lot of people have this issue. I noticed that I had this issue, but I kind of fixed it. And that really is what separates the good aimers from the top tier aimers. Or maybe you're just aiming and you feel like you hit a skill ceiling where you can't get better. And I'm here to break down how to improve your tracking and more importantly, how to improve your recorrection. Because a lot of people, when they're shooting a static target, when they're moving around, they don't recorrect and it feels weird. So say like, I'm gonna give an example, say like there's a target right here and I'm trying to recorrect, like I'm tracking them, but I over flick. So I have to stop and then track them again, or I have to track, stop, and then go back. So it's a, it's a weird movement. It's a back, then like one of those movements, and then you have to continue tracking. So it's like this. And it's really, really difficult to master the skill. And it's something that I notice a lot of really good players do, but you don't see it because it's at like a micro uh, millisecond level so that you are able, if they're uh, using it or if they're tracking and they do it, they notice it, but you don't notice it. And that's just one of the things that is going to help you out a lot. And a lot of know, like for me personally, when I do this, my, I get scared. Okay. I, I'm not scared, but I just am hesitant to recorrect because that's going to throw off my tracking and, and it's really difficult to get back on target. But then I analyzed it and broke it down and I'm here to help you guys out. First thing, a lot of you know that I switched to a 1440p monitor and it's going from a 25 BenQ uh, mo monitor to a 1440p 27 inch monitor and I had to find my sensitivity. So my sensitivity right now is a 2.5 um, at 1600 DPI. I used to play a 2.3 at a two or 24 inch monitor. So now I'm on a 27 inch monitor, I'm at 2.5 and this is comfortable, it feels like I'm on my old sense, okay? So, when it comes down to sensitivity, everybody's known that like you shoot at a wall and then you try following that target when you're strafing. And if you could do that, then your sensitivity is pretty good. See how it's nice and smooth for me if I go back and forth, do this, I could pretty much stay on target. Even with like a faster gun, the strafe speed, I'm still able to stay on target if I'm just jiggling back and forth. So that's the first thing you're going to want to do when it comes to being able to track comfortably and recorrect comfortably. The next thing you got to focus on is your mouse grip. And I use like a claw mouse grip and I would preach this mouse grip to be one of the best mouse grips. It takes the longest time to master, but it's worth it. Trust me. And I hold my mouse like this. So I have my hands right here my pinky and my index finger right here. And then I have my thumb on the side and then I just claw it like that. So this is the mouse grip I use. Now notice that my hands kind of overlap. They kind of touch the mouse pad when I'm using it. And what that does is I'm able to apply a downward force when I am um, tracking or flicking to control my tracks and flicking. So I could just flick at a random target real fast and I can have that control. It's not anything that is too overpowered. It's just boom, boom. I'm able to stop at a dime because I'm using downward pressure on these two fingers, these four, or three fingers actually, my thumb and everything. Downward pressure when I'm doing that. Now we're gonna hop into uh, bots and I wanna show you how uh, the tracking is and how to recorre recorrect your tracking. Actually, we're gonna hop into some Kovacs and I'm gonna show you how to correct your tracking in a certain scenario that I use that helps out immensely. All right, so we are in Kovacs right now 
and you guys are going to want to download um, this right here. It's called Ascended Tracking Robots. And how do you transfer your Call of Duty uh, sensitivity, Warzone or Modern Warfare or Cold War over to Kovacs? Basically, you know how I said my sensitivity is 2.5. I have Overwatch and then I have Quake Source um, FOV for 120. Save it and you hop into the tracking, okay? So when it comes to tracking, and a lot of the times when you're trying to stay on target, you're, you're not going to, you gotta micro readjust, right? So what I'm just doing here is I'm purposely, like I flick to the target and then say I over flick, right? I have to micro readjust onto the target. And say if I'm moving, it's a little harder to stay on target but I have to micro readjust when I'm on target, okay? So this is a like a really good scenario to help you, you know, stay on target and how to adjust to certain situations when you're flicking or say you over flick and you're just able to transcend your aiming and tracking specifically to the next level because let's be honest, no one stays still when they are in, um, a gunfight they're always moving back and forth they're trying to juke you and they're using movement and this i feel like is the best uh scenario so that you can actually practice on shooting targets and it, it's really really good it's what helped me just staying on target and just micro um adjusting so i'm going to flick over to this target right here and i want you guys to pay attention when i flick I'm gonna do it kind of slow and then speed it up. Pay attention to how I micro readjust and reset. You de you can't be scared to do this, okay? Or don't be hesitant. I see a lot of times when you do this, a lot of people go like this and then they're, they're following behind their target. They're not catching up or they under flick or they over flick and they don't readjust. This is gonna teach you how to readjust really really easily and I, honestly you're going to see improvement in a couple of days trust me and it, this helps out a lot so slowly i'm going to micro flick and see how i over flicked over here i have to readjust so flick i'm going to readjust and now i'm on target okay now that readjustment period you can get so fast with it that it's actually going to seem like you have aimbot because you're doing it i call them one frame flicks where you or you one frame flick and then you one frame micro adjust. So it's two frames, but it looks really good. So when you're actually trying to do this, you're gonna flick and then just go onto target. Flick, go onto target and follow the target. I'm micro adjusting right now. And it's actually pretty, it's super simple. And it, it's simple, but it's hard to do. Yeah, huh? I'm like micro readjusting. Right there, got that guy. I'm micro read. I'm I'm constantly micro readjusting when it comes to the tracking. It's not a smooth motion. See, I, I micro readjust right there. But if I didn't point it out to you guys, you guys would think that oh, this tracking is pretty good. Now you can also use movement to it. Like you can move back and forth. You guys can kind of see the micro readjustment when I'm doing this. But like in Call of Duty, you're 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 constantly moving. You may not be at this like extreme level, but you're constantly moving. Say I'm gonna see this target right here, I'm gonna flick to this target and micro readjust. I'm staying on target and I'm staying consistent. And that is one trick that I hope you guys take anything from this video. Don't be scared to micro readjust, flick and slowly you're going to get better at it when you start out you're going to be like this you're going to be behind and it's going to be it's going to take a while for you to catch up don't be scared to try to over flick and try to catch up to it okay to your target don't be scared to do like this and then over flick see i over flick but i'm still tracking the target it, you're going to get really fast and it may not seem as smooth as when i'm doing it now but trust me this same tip is going to help you out a lot. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I just want to stay blessed and stay humble, and I'll catch you in another video. Peace.